Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a timeless tarot card reading for you, Aries, to see what's going on with your energy. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you, Aries. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email and we can talk about that. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Aries. Anywhere in your chart, or if you're just checking in on an Aries, everyone's welcome here. It just might not resonate with all. But welcome, welcome, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you. Spirit, can we get a moon oracle card for the sign of Aries? What's going on with Aries? Your dreams need a practical plan. The full moon in Taurus. Aries, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Maybe you're coming into a much more practical phase of your life now, really more logical now. I like that. That Taurus energy, that bull energy. I'm just going to get it done. I'm just going to keep moving forward here and push through. You're pushing through something. What do you need to release? The waning moon. Hmm. What do you need to let go of here, Aries, to have that fresh start, to have those clean waters ahead instead of looking back at all the muddy waters there and everything that has gone on? So a real release coming to you. Just figure out what has to go. What has to go? Oops, let's see. Animal spirit guide for up in the ether for the sign of Aries. What's going on with Aries, spirit? What is going on with Aries? Aries, what is going on? The cosmic egg. Look at you holding on to something very sacred here. It means something to you. It's hard to let go of this. I've been protecting it. I've been nurturing it. I've been honoring this for a very long time. The seed that was planted, this event that took place here, you've been really protecting that. It was yours. It was yours. You didn't want to tell anyone about it because you didn't want them to take it away from you interesting and you're having a very very hard time just easing up on that grip just letting go here yeah look at this with the hyena on the bottom of the deck very much having a hard time of letting that go because it was yours it was yours it was the only thing that you could hold on to here there was just this buoy this buoy in the choppy waters and the oceans of life here that you were gripping onto it saved your life so it, it was the reason you kept going. It was the reason that things mattered here. And so you're having a very, very hard time letting it go. Wow, Aries, that is very powerful. Let's get a Zen tarot card, a Zen tarot card for up in the ether for the sign of Aries spirit. What is going on with Aries Zen tarot card? patience. Wow. Look at this. You have been patient. You've been taking care of this. It was a pregnancy. It was yours for that brief nine months. Nobody could touch it. Nobody could slant it. Nobody could influence it. Nobody could crack it. Wow. Aries, this is very powerful. Look at this on the bottom of the deck, the tower, the tower. It had to be birthed. It had to come out. It had to be born here and uh, exposed. Wow, Aries, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. It's like you're presenting this to the world now. You are showing the world what this gift is that you've been really, really taking care of. You've been uh, nurturing it. You've been really honoring it. It was sacred to you. But here comes the birth. It's just been in the birthing canal and uh, you've been in labor. <laughs> you've been in labor with this one. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> you got to the point where it got so big. It grew so uh, uh, prominent in your uh, in your frame of reference here that it became very, very painful. Now you just wanted it out. Now it was just like, oh my God, release, release, let go. This is a beautiful, beautiful release. Tell me what Aries is thinking about right now. What is up in the mind space spirit for the sign of Aries? What's going on? Wow, look at all these cards. Look at the world, Aries. Absolutely. A new cycle has begun. This birthday year of yours, this solar year. Even if you're not an Aries sun, I mean, we are all kind of experiencing this release now, this letting go of what has shaped us, what has formed our beliefs here. Look at the Ten of Pentacles, this celebration, this coming back together, this kind of coming home feeling without this inside of you, without whatever this was burning hot inside of you. 
wow, you're just really letting those waters wash over it. It's just such six of swords energy. It's just really the tsunami coming in and putting out that fire, that fire, that need to protect, that need to keep something safe because it was yours. Two of Cups, look at this. I love this decision mode to really let it go, to really release here, to share with another here, to, to still honor it, but have this different perspective about it. Now the baby is here. Now the it's been released. It's been revealed. It's taken its first breath outside of you. And so now you're really anxious to see it grow. Now you have these ideas of what can be done with this or how you can really use this to your benefit or how uh, it can propel you forward now into this new bubble of desire growing here. This is beautiful with this focus, the Ace of Wands just really shining for me. It's just like you have this new spiritual gift now. You have the gift of the third eye, Aries. You have this ability to really see people much, much deeper than what they're willing to show you here. You have this beautiful, beautiful sense about you now because of this uh, taking care of, this responsibility that you had to take care of what was yours here, to protect what was yours here. You know, I'm thinking of like, uh, I grew up in Salt Lake City with uh, the Mormon, the Mormon religion, and some some uh, friends of mine had 13, 14 brothers and sisters. And I'm seeing that in the Ten of Pentacles here with all of those children in the background. But they had very sacred things. They could have been anything. I mean, it could have been a rock. And they protected it and they hid it. And they, because somebody would come along and maybe not maliciously or just, oh, what's this? I'm going to take this. And so this protection mode, this, this is mine. This is mine. It's just like that locked diary uh, that you are really ready to burn now. You're ready to release that now. You're really ready to let go of that and say, yeah, but this is all I will ever have. How am I going to expand? How am I going to grow? How am I going to have more, more of these babies, more of these desires, more of these ideas if I don't really just let this one go now and let it wobble and, and fall and find its own footsteps out in the world here while I go focus on uh, this new idea, this new beginning here. God, Aries, this is beautiful. Any advice? What's the advice in the mind space for Aries? What's your advice, spirit? Eight of wands and six of wands. Look at this. Look at this victory, this accomplishment, this I did it. I took it all the way to the end. I really survived something. I didn't give up, never gave up, never surrendered. And now it's just like I'm on this uh, uh, rocket out. I just really can feel the fire beneath me now, that new feeling of excitement, that new feeling of I wonder, I wonder what this is going to be because this you really got to know. You became very, very familiar with this seed in the past but you're not familiar with this. You're not familiar with things working out. You're not familiar with uh, having the spotlight on you and being honored uh, in this way. Harry, this is beautiful. This is coming in really fast and hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whew, I love it. And you're still protecting something. You're still honoring something. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. I'm really excited to observe now instead of, I can take that deep breath. I can take, oh God, it's not my responsibility anymore. It's really not my responsibility. Now that I've given this to the world, it's the world's responsibility now as well. So all of the children of the world are all of our responsibilities. So yeah, this is glorious. This is glorious. All right. What's in the heart space? What are you feeling right now? What are you feeling right now, Aries? My God, the Ten of Cups. Look at this. The rainbows are here. I see the rainbows in the two of cups as well. Aries, this is beautiful. This is a stroke of luck. This is a, an understanding of the gifts and allowing yourself to receive gifts, to receive gifts, to say thank you without feeling that responsibility of uh, uh, protection or re a re a reciprocity here without thinking, okay, they gave me, you know, hundred dollars last year. Now I got to give them a hundred dollars this year. Having that, 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 notepad of, of what was given to you because you were going to be damn sure you were going to pay it back. There was not going to be anything you owed. This was yours. This was yours. You were not going to have debt on it. You were not going to have other people's opinions on it here. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Now you are releasing it. You are giving it uh, uh, to the world. And seeing what happens, really taking a leap of faith. I mean, you are the fool energy in the major arcana. Tell me more about the heart space. 
five of swords look at this you're just like oh god don't go that way though don't go that way because now the opinions come you see the birdie whispering in his ear there uh, that person's gonna fail that person is gonna slip that person is your responsibility and you're just like oh god i can't i can't i'm done i'm done i did it i i gave i gave it out there and now i need to let go i need to let go of that need to control it now and where it goes and uh, what the influencers say. You really, you're just, you're just severing that tie to the influencers. You will not be influenced. You will not be uh, swayed because nobody knows this like you do. Nobody knows this like you do. So you're really coming into that understanding with this bird. You're even turning your head now and you're saying, you know what? You don't know. You don't know. So don't assume and um, let's go. Let's go into the light now. Let's go into the possibilities now. More possibilities opening up with you with this eight of wands card. I love that. I love that. Also with the two of cups, more possibilities. You're not uh, in such, uh, I can't, I can't step out now because what's going to happen with this uh, thing that I got going on with inside of me, this experience that I have held on to for a very, very long time, what's going to happen to that? So you this, you go into a little bit of fear mode. What's the challenge? What's the challenge in the heart space? Look at that, the Scorpio energy coming in, death and rebirth, and the eight of swords, a couple of eights here, eight, eight. Wow, wow, look at this. And on the 8th of April, Aries, we're having a full solar uh, eclipse. We haven't had one of those since August of 2017. So systems, beliefs, ideas that started really kind of getting out of control. It was like the train just kind of jumped off the track there in 17. And here we are seven years later having the same scenario this full solar eclipse at least in the united states here so eight that solar eclipse that reset that new beginning that death and rebirth the seeing the waking up then after the uh after the delivery here and uh looking around it's just like oh my god i'm just kind of i don't know what to do now i don't know what to do now if i don't have to take care of this if i don't have to soothe this then now what now what do i do and it turns into you soothing your Yourself. You giving yourself that love, that patience, that understanding that you gave that experience, you gave that event all that time and attention in your past here. So now you're giving it to yourself, giving that cup of forgiveness to yourself. God, Aries, this is absolutely beautiful. A true, true rebirth for you. And the two eights, the two eights really moving out of your own head, moving out of that and seeing a different perspective. You're looking in a different mirror now. Beautiful. Spirit, what's your advice? What's your advice in the heart space? Five of Wands. Look at this. You've been in competition. You've been competing. Again, it has to do with that protecting of what was yours here. You were just in such protection mode. But now you've got this new perspective. You used to be down here, down here in the grips, trying to pull the others down so you could get ahead here because you were protecting something. You had something very precious you were carrying with you. And it was... Uh, your job you felt like it really really was a big responsibility spirit did give you this to protect so that's beautiful aries you did your job you did your job beautifully here but now they're suggesting rise to the top now reach for the light now reach for the divine now really let it go let the let that uh kind of work its way up the ladder here and work its way out on its own just kind of really let it go just drop that idea that you have to keep holding on to it or you have to keep protecting it here it's safe. It's very safe. That's what these cards are saying. Your experience is safe. And nobody can, to this day, Aries, no one can take that from you and no one can sway your idea of what happened there. So it was very, very personal, very personal. And that is just uninfluenceable. So yeah, you're standing in your true light. You're standing in that core belief system of yours and saying, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. What's in the foundation? What's this all about? Spirit, what is this all about? The seven of cups coming out of that confusion, not too many choices or where did I put that? Almost this amnesia of there was this period of time in the very recent past that I'm seeing for you, Aries, that you were protecting this event. You were protecting this experience for a really long time. And then there was this moment where it got a little bit painful to hold on to. It got uh, a little bit, uh, wanted to change. It wanted to grow. It wanted to expand. And that became very painful for you. And so there was a minute where you had this amnesia. You just turned it off. You let it go. And then it was like, oh my God, where did I leave it? Oh my God. 
God, what did I do? It's like, you know what I'm seeing right now is Tom Hanks in Castaway when he's talking to Wilson, of course, on the beach. It's his only friend. It's his. It's his. It's the only thing he can really tangibly hold on to. And he gets angry. He gets angry at Wilson and he, or no, 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 he doesn't get angry. He falls asleep on the boat. He falls asleep on the boat and Wilson is gone the next morning. It's devastating. It brought tears to my eyes as he was screaming out, Wilson, but you were mine. You were mine. You got me through. You helped me. You helped me survive. And so that was the moment you just let it go. And then you were like, oh my God, where did it go? Where did it go? You just almost weren't ready to let it go. Nine of cups. Look at this dream come true. This birthday wish something is a happening and it's happening very quickly for you, Aries. I love this. It's the birthday wish come true. It really, really is that day that you realize that you can let it go. You can move on. You can see what else, what else is out there and uh, just let it float out to sea. Just let it float out to sea. Wish it well. Wish it well. I love you. I wish you well. Uh, but boy, this ocean is taking me elsewhere and I don't seem to have control. I don't seem to be able to do anything about it with the death and rebirth card here. What else in the foundation? What else in the foundation for Aries? What else is going on? Oh God, look at that devil. But there you are with the emperor and the tower. The six of swords. Look at that before I put those cards back together. There's that six of swords energy here and still the nine of cups. My God, Aries, look at this. Look at this. The tower, the emperor, the high priestess, and the devil. We've got four major arcanas coming out in the foundation here. This is fundamental beliefs changing. This is you changing your life. You detoxifying from the toxicity, the toxicity that it became. It became your poison, your most precious gift, your most sacred thing absolutely became your poison. It turned into this toxicity that you had to purge. You had to purge it out uh, by fire, purification by fire. Wow. And you are just very, your cardinal sign. You are the true fire sign here. So my God, my God, this changes everything. This absolutely changes everything. Now you're let in on those secrets. Now there's no holding those waters back, that connection to spirit. As soon as you release that toxicity, it's just this wave, this tsunami of information that rains down on you. Your third eye really, really opening up here, that gift, that being able to see what others cannot see. I love this deck, the Light Seers Tarot card deck, because with the High Priestess, if you move the card, I hope you can see it on camera camera if I'm even holding it straight, but she opens and closes her eyes. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going to absorb this. I'm going to absorb this. I'm going to think about this. I'm going to process this. And then I'm going to let it go. I'm going to reveal it. I'm going to open my eyes. I'm going to have the bravery and the courage to see. <laughs> and then here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes that rainbow. Here comes that glory for you. Here comes the joy, the joy of the journey after the detox, after the rehabilitation here, after you have overcome here, the joy, the feeling of accomplishment, the truly, truly letting go of how you got here and just really enjoying that you're here. You're here. You have arrived. <laughs> yes. Yes, let's get some clarification on this massive, massive reading. Let's just look at the major arcana. You've got the world up in your mind space here. You've got the world with the Ten of Pentacles, the happiest card in the deck, the most secure card in the deck, the stability, the, the coming together, the connecting and opening up here. You've got a relationship. You've got a relationship on your mind here, a merging of the energies wanting to happen here. You've got extreme, extreme focus. You've got the uh, uh, honoring card, the celebration of you and the Eight of Wands in the mind space. So I just have to look at the mind space because this is what drives us forward. It's those ideas, those ideas that, that those sparks of intuition those sparks of um, ideas that grow, that really, really start to grow, that become, they grow enough, they grow big enough to become a belief, to become part of our belief system. So that's what happened with you, especially with the world, the end of the major arcana, the brand new cycle. Maybe it started in 17 here. And it has come to a finale here. It's come to an end. It's time to let go. It's time to take that deep breath, take that leap of faith, and really, really let go. 
So let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at this new belief system for you. I just want to get a clarification card on that. The Two of Cups, again, this is all about a new relationship coming to you. There's a brand new relationship coming to you. There's a understanding relationship coming to you, an equal, an equal relationship where one is not putting the other ahead. They're not honoring their needs above their own now. Each of you, uh, both of you are honoring your own needs. You're protecting your own new seeds now. You're nurturing your own new seeds, but then you're giving each other the water when you need it. You're giving each other the support when you need it. You're giving each other the understanding when you need it. And that is what is really, really helping your mind space to flourish now, to absolutely flourish, to trust now. Wow, wow, wow. Let's look at the heart space. I want to look at this death in reverse, right in between the two kind of difficult cards, the five of swords and the eight of swords. <laughs> Listening to others, being swayed by others. You should be here, Aries. You should be there. Uh, this is what everyone else is doing. Why aren't you following the pack? You've never been one to be a follower, Aries, but that wasn't easy. It wasn't easy when everyone was really, really in your ear uh, saying, this is the way it should be. You're doing something wrong. And that was their own insecurities really screaming in your ear. Uh, they were using you as that mirror and they were really asking, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> or they wouldn't be trying to sway you to do the same thing, to make them the same bad decisions. It's like when one of your friends get divorced or one of your family members get divorced and it's this ripple effect through every relationship around you because the observation of the two of you was very much like theirs. They thought, well, they have their problems, but they're still together. They're still getting through. They still have the family and the white picket fence. And uh, so when that cracked apart, it's just every relationship has to really, really look at each other, really, really look at each other. Is this what we want? Is this what we want? There's this ripple effect that had happened with you. All right, so let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. The hermit, the hermit, absolutely. You went on solo mode. Now you were on your own because this, this, this influence, this where you should be, this path you should have taken here, and it was all due to their insecurities. Again, they were fearful they had taken the wrong path. And it was like, come with me, Aries, come with me. Maybe they thought you could help them uh, do that right or... Hmm. I don't know. It's just insecurities that were in your ear. The hermit, though, the Virgo energy, the cleaning house, the sweeping up those messy relationships, the shooing away of the information here, the shutting off the social media, the shutting off, the shutting down of uh, the opinions of others here. That severing, there was a big severing here and all up in your head for a minute. It's just like, I got to be by myself. I've got to be by myself. I can't have this external chatter. I can't have this uh, white noise around me. It's just almost felt like you were being brainwashed or you were being uh, hit with these waves that were trying to uh, influence you. That's because you're very, very psychic. You have this third eye open up, this very, very wide uh, sight here, so... Yeah, you saw it all. You couldn't shut it down. It's just like as soon as you shut your eyes to meditate, that's when the chatter came. That's when they could get in. So you thought, okay, I can't do that. I can't do that. But then when it got too painful, it needed to be revealed. It needed to be released. Not More so released than revealed. Um, that's when the, the chatter shut down. There was this severing. It's very clear, clear severing of the energy with you, Aries. And it was like, enough. <laughs> There's this moment. Enough. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> And you were able to really release it. You were able to let go of the pain. You were able to let go of that suffering. You were able to let go of the idea that you were put here on this earth to suffer, that you've been cursed, that you've been left behind, that you've been forsaken here. You just really let that idea go because the idea that that was going on kept you in that energy. It kept you in that prison uh, that you have been forsaken. So it's just like, you know what, then I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to protect this. This is mine. My forsakenness is mine. So I'm going to hold on to that forever. And then it got too painful, got too big. It started becoming who you were. It started becoming your core identity. It became uh, this uh, label of who you were. And you're just like, oh God, I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm just my, it's, it's sog, it's soggy. It's breaking apart. It's this paper on my bottle. It's a label that I've put on myself here. And it is washing away. That ocean got so choppy. It just could not stay on me and uh, had to be released. 
oh god aries all right let's take a look at the foundation i've got to see and then i was going on to the major arcana we also have the death and rebirth in the heart space too and the hermit here so wow big big changes the major arcana are the big fundamental belief changes in our lives where the minor arcana the eight of swords the six of wands the two of cups those are the dailies those are the daily events happening to us the little stresses the little strikes the getting into our head the trying to psych ourselves out either way here so those are the the littler things we get into the bigger energy with the two tens here because tens are all about they convert to a one and it's about starting over with this different belief system for you so it's absolutely beautiful all right so i got to see this major arcana with this little bit of confusion for you where did i put that where did i put that and who am i without it who am i now who am I now without it? It caused you to go through this massive identity crisis, Aries, of who am I if I don't have that story, if I don't have that event, if I don't have that, um, I, I don't even want to say it, spirit, <laughs> crutch, <laughs> they're making me say it, if I don't have that, if I don't have that excuse, uh, then they'll think it was me that failed because before that worked, before that worked, and it's not, it didn't work anymore. It became very painful. It became very uncomfortable. Uh, so, so now who am I? Who am I? And who is Aries now after this massive, massive rebirth? Nine of swords and it came out just on the sideways here. It, you're not that. You're not that. This is what you know for sure, Aries. This is what you know for sure. This is no longer you. You have fundamentally changed. It's just not who you are anymore. And people are allowed to change. People are allowed to change. This holding someone to who they were in the past is ridiculous. Or words that they said in the past, it's ridiculous. You are here to evolve. You are here to change. You are here to grow. So now you're coming into this understanding. Look, I'm allowed to grow. I'm allowed to change. I'm allowed to change my mind. Absolutely allowed. And you're giving yourself that permission that comes from your higher self right directly to you through this high priestess energy. I am giving myself permission to change. And once you come into that kind of understanding of who you are, there's just, it doesn't matter what anyone says around you. You have a lot of energy in your ear and it just, it does not matter. It doesn't matter. It's like noted, but you are completely doing your own thing anyway. It's just someone could tell you specifically steps one through five and you're grateful to them you say thank you so much for your assistance and then you turn around and you throw them in the garbage <laughs> with no guilt it's like yeah but i got to do this my way <laughs> wow all right let's take a look at this beautiful revelation this understanding this receiving of the gifts now this opening up of your eye not being afraid to open up your third eye and to really really see for the first time in a very 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 long time you are able to see clearly without the confusion without the influence without the labels without the idea of this very very strong protection over something here you're able to just really truly release and i want to see what that's about five of pentacles look at this it really is in your time of exhaustion it's in your time you got to throw up the the white flag and say i surrender please give me the drugs like i remember when i was pregnant with my Aries daughter, who is uh, my light in my life, truly, truly my, my light, my guiding light. But I was in labor for 38 hours and I, I, it was tough. It was very, very, very tough. And I remember just screaming, give me the drugs, give me the drugs, <laughs> my poor husband. <coughs> anyway, this is what it's reminding me of. I released the need to control this. I released the idea that I could control it. It's out of my control. So what am I doing trying to control this? I'm just going to let go. I'm just going to let go. I'm going to trust. And I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. <laughs> so yeah, it comes out white flag. Let's look at those toxicities you're letting go of. You're really, really detoxing. Page of Wands. Wow, I'm loving this fire coming into you, this new journey, this understanding that it's not difficult to let it go. It was actually the easiest thing I ever did, right? It was the easiest thing I ever, ever did was to relax into it. As soon as I got that epidural, my daughter was born within seconds. It's just, it would just, I needed to relax. I needed to stop trying to control the pain and telling everyone else how to control my pain 
mean and how to make me happier, how to make me feel better here, what they can do and putting the blame on them and all of this. If I could have just relaxed like that epidural helped me to in it, without the epidural, it would have been the same way. But we get so caught up into our heads. We get so caught up into our experiences. And that's just human nature. There's That's just nothing we can do about it. Again, that we have to release the idea that there's anything we can do to change ourselves this way. This kind of change comes naturally, organically, and you cannot force it on. You cannot uh, wish it on. You cannot pray it on, this kind of change. This kind of change has to happen through our experiences, through our breaking down of our beliefs, which is always the tower card. It's a breaking down of our beliefs, our letting go of the toxicity and what is really, really stunting our growth here and uh, uh, prolonging this uh, birth here. There's no reason to go through 38 hours of labor. Let me just relax after that first contraction here. Let me try. Let me try. Let me focus. They tell you, focus on something on the wall and just really, really put your focus there. And that's what spirit is asking you to do. It's like a Lamaze class from spirit for you right now, Aries, focus on the wall, focus on uh, something else, the hum of the air conditioner, because I know when you try to go quiet, that's when the chatter really, really starts. So you got to focus on something very intently. You got to focus on the hum of the wind, the the rain, the, the light, light uh, pitter patter of something here and really, really put all your focus there. It will turn off the channels around you. It'll turn off the chatter around you. It's, it's just uh, really cutting it out, cutting out the noise for you. And that is the toxicity. Six of Wands, the moving on, the getting out of there, the real, real calm waters after the very, very, very choppy storm for you, Aries. Very choppy. Yes, I love this reading, Aries. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. You have got to leave me a comment about this. This is a huge, huge change for you. You are not the same, Aries. And I would love to hear your story. I would absolutely love to hear your story. Happy, happy birthday, Aries. Oh, God, I'm sending you all my love and all my light. Aries, I forgot to mention that solar eclipse is in your sign. So have some, the most powerful eclipse of your life is coming, Aries, April 8th, April 8th of 2024. And uh, yeah, congratulations. Congratulations to you. Lead us out of here. You are the first zodiac sign, Aries. So lead us out. You are the leader here and I'm following the leader. I'm following you just like I follow my beautiful daughter. All right, I'm sending you all my love and light and I will definitely tune in with you soon.